Hey, what's going on guys? It's Squad Waffles here today, bringing out a quick gameplay. Um, first time getting out some zombies, I think. I love zombies. I've talked about it in some previous videos, we're looking for easter egg hunting teams. But, this is just a, like a quick way to like burn through rounds, this strategy that I use in this gameplay. So this is a giant gameplay. This is where you can max guns super easily, mostly submachine guns. I don't know if you can do this with any other guns, but in this gameplay, I specially use the CUDA, and um, I have the Wonder Wolf as a backup. I practically didn't even need it. As you'll see throughout the video, if I do pull it out, I'm not sure if I do. Um, if I do, then that actually would shock me, because I think I used it maybe a total of, I don't know, six times tops, probably. So in the strategy, I start you at round 20, and what it is, is um, you need a specific perk loadout. Um, obviously you need Jug, Speed Cola isn't necessarily required, and Double Tap isn't necessarily required, but you do need Jug and Stamina Up. Both are crucial. You could attempt this without Stamina Up, you have to get a little lucky. Um, stamina Up is super helpful because of the way that you train in this back room near Teleporter 3. Now the reason I choose to teleport teleport sorry my bad the reason I choose to train in teleporter 3 is because the zombies spawn super super fast and when I was going back through this gameplay watching myself play I realized that I was getting through like round 40 in like generally five to ten minutes depending on how many zombies I would catch when I used blast furnace so that's another crucial thing. You do need Blast Furnace on your submachine gun. Because as you see when I shoot the zombies here after I get them all trained up, they all just get stuck and they all get burned together and then occasionally get a straggler and you just kill his ass. Easy as that. Uh, you want to keep running a U in this back room as you'll see me do. It keeps the zombies at bay and allows you to avoid the zombies that jump off the railing right above you. So you can just kind of run a U and you kind of have to run back towards the door. The strategy is a little difficult and it is a little riskier than some of the other high round strategies for this map, but personally, I really do prefer the strategy because I feel like I get through the rounds a lot faster. It also helps you level up and um, you get a feel for really successful training. So it's definitely one of my favorite places to train in the map for sure. Now. For zombies itself, I'm still working on easter eggs. Uh, I got near completed to finishing the Dreisendrak easter egg, which was super awesome. Uh, I just met up with a couple of guys, um, Low Gray, who has a YouTube channel, and another guy, I can't remember what his name is right now, he's one of Low Gray's buddies. So, I've been playing with him quite a bit, and uh, hopefully I'm trying to get him in a video. The next video I'm trying to get uploaded is another Deris video, and it's gonna be a sniper only challenge video. So we can either use the Dracon, the Locust, or the SVG and as you can see like this gun does nothing like at this round at 38 you're doing nothing to these zombies it's actually kind of hilarious so guys that was pretty much the premise of the video it's just a super easy strategy of how to get to round 40 super easily if you follow the route that I show you it's really not too bad especially once you get used to it stamina up is required though for the most part you're gonna need it anyway guys if you do want to play with me uh, please just holler Put it in the comment section of your username, and I will definitely play with you guys. Till next time, Squad Waffles out. Peace out.